Okay folks, thanks very much for joining me. Today I'm going to be tying up a, a fairly simple style pattern. Um, it's called the Squirrel Blue and Silver. As you can guess, it's a variant of the Teal Blue and Silver. So first thing I've done is I've added on my thread and I'm just going to add on some glow break floss. So this is hot orange or fire orange glow break floss. And I'm going to bring this down to um, halfway between the barb and the hook point. Okay, then I'm going to trim off my excess. And then I'm going to bring up the white thread a little bit further. And I always use white whenever I'm tying a, a bright floss like this. So I'm bringing that thread up to the hook point. And then I'm going to just do a few turns to create a tag. And this tag's going to be a fluorescent orange tag. Okay. There is no tail for this fly. I know the tail blue and silver had a tail, but if you wanted, you can add on a tail of golden pheasant crest um, or topping it entirely up to yourself. Okay, so that's quite vulnerable, especially if you're hitting sea trout. So what I would be doing is adding in a wee bit of varnish. And this is new varnish I'm trying out here. Um, it's, it's meant to dry in 60 seconds, so I won't have to wait around for it to dry. I can just continue on tying. Okay, so I'm just doing a wee light covering off of there. In fact, I'll tie a wee bit on the body as well. I'll put a bit on the body for the, the tinsel. Okay, so next we're going to add on our rib. So the rib for this fly is going to be silver wire or silver oval. So I'm going to attach that on underneath. And then at the top of the shank, I'm going to add on the main body, which is it's a silver flat braid. So I'm just use the weight of the bobbin to secure that in. Okay, I'll tie both of those close to that tag. And cut off my excess. Now we'll just run the flat braid up the body sorry run your thread up first little mistake there and then run the flap braid up just in touch and turns okay you could use flat tensiles entirely up to yourself this was just I find it a wee bit handier and quicker to tie with and then rib it as well. So the first rib you want to do is round the tag. And then you want to do four or five turns up the body. And secure that in underneath. Okay, so to save your scissors, don't be cutting that off. What you want to do is you want to just put a bit of tension on the bobbin and wind that wire off. And that's your body, folks. So wine for this fly, um, given by the name, it's, it's squirrel, so we've got natural grey squirrel. And this is, uh, I think this is a size 8, so quite a big, quite a big hook, so get a nice size here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hold on to the ends and just remove any smaller fibres or under fur. Okay, and I want this to go just past the, the back of the hook. So I'd be happy about there. Then I swap over my hands. And whenever you're tying this in, you want to tie it in loose. It's called pinch and loop. So between your two fingers there, if you just pinch the bobbin, so you got loose, loose uh, thread here, and then bring it down the side. And that'll stop any fraying. A couple of turns to secure it in. And for anybody that's worked with squirrel, they'll know it's very prone to slipping. So, let's check that actually. It's already starting to slip. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add on a bit of super glue onto the thread. And that'll give me a very secure hold. Okay. Then while that's drying, I'm just going to cut off the, the excess. Okay. 
Okay, so the hackle for the fly, it's blue. So this is blue cock hackle, um, just regular blue. Um, I think it's called um, blue after blue, but yeah, whatever you want to call it, it's blue. Add on a wee bit of wax. And then tie it in it where the tip was, where you broke off the tip, if you are using that side. You'll know this by now, and then fold the fibers back and tie in the square those. Then use your scissors and just start to blend those fibers back against the main feather. And that will hopefully double them back. Whatever's not doubled, hopefully your hands will be able to double. And then just wind your hackle. That's one. I'll probably do three or four for this one. Make sure that the the hackle feather is going forward every time. As opposed to on top of it because that could really impact the way it looks. So I'm going to start again. So that's not what I want. Okay, so that's two turns and then the next turn I'm going to finish off so I'll take off my excess and just try and train those fibers around okay tie it in a few turns to secure it and then This isn't going well today, is it? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim off that excess, and that's only secured in by two or three holes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on a bit of super glue. and that will ensure that it's a very secure hold, so the feather doesn't ever slip. Okay, now that we've got the super glue, I'm going to add in a bit of jungle cock. Jungle cock's totally optional. Really, you don't really need it, but I've used it. It looks well. It looks well in the, if you're tanning for salmon as well. So hopefully you can see that okay, but that's the that's one that i done. Here's one i done earlier. That's a nice size 12 double. It looks very shrimpy. Um, so I'm going to put it on anyway, it does no harm to have it on. I'm going to tie it on his eyes, quite large eyes. Okay, then I'm going to just trim off my excess but keeping a bit of tension on. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to get more super glue. I could whip finish here but what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a wee bit of super glue to finish it off before I tie on my, my fluorescent head. And this does two things. One, it saves me how to do a whip, whip finish and two, it makes that jungle cock even more secure. Okay, so now I've got um, glow bright number five. Just needing up the head here first. See a wee bit of a feather fiber. Glow bright number five, and just add that on over the white. Don't worry if your head's getting too big at this stage. You know, people fixing for sea trout and salmon use cone heads, so I don't see a problem with a bigger head, especially whenever it's a one like this that'll hopefully trigger them. Okay. Just before you tie off, just make sure you have that well covered. And I'm happy enough with that there. So, 
couple of turns of a finish. And then I'll give that a coat of super glue and two coats of varnish. And that's your squirrel blue and silver, folks. As always, if you like the video, um, let us know, guys, we comment below or hit the like button and do share it with others. Hit that subscribe if you're already not subscribed. Until next time, all the best. Thank you.